Am I started? Yes. Uh, hey everybody, this is Doug Dennis, and this is a game board review. We got here Twix Discharging Game 4 2. Twix, the strategy classic battle of strategy for two is back. Yes, Twix, if you played this game as a kid or when you were uh, a young adult, if you're older than the um, 70s, um, you probably played this game. It's very fun, awesome game. If I remember correctly how you play, is you basically put a peg down and your opponent puts a peg down. And the object of the game is to get from red side, red side, black side, to black side. Or I guess it's blue on this, because it's the blue version. The one my dad has from the um, um, bookshelf games has a um, black and red side. So let's open her up and see what's inside. Da, 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 da. da, 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 da. Congress of the Brood and Wall. We will build the wall of protection. Build the wall to the borders. Oh, I just thought of something. For those of you who are in the political times, this would be a great American game for teaching your kids about the wall that's being built by Donald Trump. So this is no longer the Brother and Wall board game. This is the Donald Trump board game. So we will open her up. As you see, it's opening up. So those who are for the Red Man is Bad, we can name this video Red Man is Bad because this is a Donald Trump video now. Because this is the Donald Trump ball game. It came out way before Donald Trump, but it is a Donald Trump game. Building that wall. Okay, so it comes with a certificate that tells you how to build the game assembly, which I'm pretty sure I already know how to build it because I played it before. It's too much to read, I'm not a very good reader. Instructions on how to play. My darling, can they see that? Can you bring it closer for me? Because we can't see the part that's because that um get get one side go over there go over there to the camera no 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 if you're in this too let's go back to this where you were and if you can't hold, you have to call it like this so they can see it you see like that you run it lower okay now hold it like that for a second. And I tell you when to start holding it. And go ahead and flip it around the other way. Make sure it's all on there. Back up a little bit. Down a little bit. Now hold it still. Hold it still. Raise it a little bit. Hold it still. Okay, good. Thank you. So this is basically the strategies and the instruction, the way how to play the objective of the game. Objective of the game. Involves two players competing against one another to build a fence or wall um, from one side to the other, one side to the other of the board game, to the other side of the board, from one side of the board to the other side of the board. To be successful, players must defend their wall while also strategizing to prevent their opponent from completing their fence or wall. Blue and red builds their fence from behind each of their respective color boundary borders from one side to the other. So, game pieces. There's pegs. Let me find the pegs. What the heck? I guess this is okay. Okay, it goes this way. A little assembly of the game.
Oh, there's another clicks. That my dad's game doesn't have that. That's a new feature. There's another click clicks on here, so you can click them to place, so it won't move on you. So that's pretty sweet. The little assembly of the game here. Just click them together. Okay, maybe it's. Okay, how do you do this? I'm gonna make it difficult, my friends. Difficult, difficult, difficult. There, I got it together. Woo! This is what a fancy looks like when it's together. So. I don't know if you can see, but there's little pegs, snaps in the back. In the old game, you did not have that. In the old game was you would basically um, just put it together and hope it stayed together. <laughs> That's a good, good thing with friends. So pieces, okay, pieces. So we got red and blue pieces. But Donna, can you show this up there, please? It's too far away; they won't see it. These are the pegs. Show the peg. Show the peg. That's red peg. Yes, I know. It's, 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 that, one, that one goes my dad's game. See, it's, it's different. It's, it's, no, no, no. Get them confused with that one's a different size. It's from an older game. Just put it back. Put it back on the. Thank you. That's the red one. And yeah, there's different sizes too. No, that's from an older game. That's from, I, oh, really? I found that in my Legos. It goes to my dad's game. Oh, yeah, there's another one too. The and here's a blue one. Those are the pegs. Those are the ones that, for instance, I believe you oh, have yeah. to start. Show me the, the thing that goes on top of it. Okay, so that's to give you an example. So, um, Donna, what color do you want to be? <laughs> okay, so I, 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 I don't know who goes first. Um, we'll go ahead and put it somewhere. So then, as you see, you put it that somewhere, and then I will put my piece somewhere, and then, um. The, in order to get a fence started, you have to put a piece at a diagonal and angle. Let's see if that's the correct size. Okay, this is the this is the wall. This is the bridge of the wall. Show that. Show that the bridge of the wall. No, show, you, you can't see it. That's the bridge of the wall. So you go there. So. As you can see, blue is working its way to blue and blue, and now red's gonna go. So, like, here's a strategy you could do: you could go to right here, and then for um, that, that will block blue from going closer to there. So, um, so what blue could do. Let's go here and get another bridge, and then um, red could go here and so on. So you can just fill the walls and you eventually try to block off your opponent before they can make the wall. So, oops. Let me show this to Dad. Etc. And then if Blue would continue to try to get the wall, they could go here. And then again, as you see a pattern developing here, Red could go here.
And then blue would go maybe over here. And go here. And you can see it looks like the blue is going to score. So that means red may want to do something else to block further right. Well, that, as you play, you'll find strategies. I can't play a whole game by myself. I will record a game of us playing later. I was just using the examples of how the game works. So can you close this up? With all kinds of strategies to this game that you could do, you could do powder. That's all. The, that's all the red. I don't know. I was talking. There, there's patterns you could do to block your opponent and go for wins and everything. But the way that 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 setup was going, with it looked like blue was, was going to get on the other side yeah, before. I did. The way that that setup was going, that. Okay. So back to the instructions. So pegs are the showing you fences and the rules. Players are assigned a set of pegs can confine fences and blue peg concerning concern can connect I don't know what the word that is, fences. Can Yeah, I, I I'm sorry folks, I can't read. This is really hard for me to do and I'm trying my hardest. But I would spell the word C O N N E C T O N. I think it's connectors, fences. Players must play pegs. Players can play pe pegs anywhere on the board with the exception of single border rows behind the opponent's colors. So you cannot, if you're blue, you can't go in the red. If you're red, you can't go in the blue. So as you play, you can't go past the border lines unless it's your color. Only the peg turn. Only one peg may. Only ma, Only one peg turn. Only one peg per turn can be played during during a player's turn. Connector fences or walls can be added and removed from pegs anytime during a player's turn. So if you put something down, it's not guaranteed that you want to move there. So you can put your stuff down and, and take it off. Uh, and when it turns out, when it turns over, when you say, "I guess you're done" or something like that, or just, I'm, I'm finished. So you can like move around the pieces and see where they go. It's saying so that's cool. Um, during players' turn, they must place as many connection fences on top. Wait, during a player's turn, they may place as many. Connected fences on top of their pegs as they wish. Fences can only be placed on pegs that are are like are a chess king's move, a chess knight move, like an L shape. So it has to be an L shape to move it. I I, I didn't really explain that. So it's basically two in, three over, or three over, two in. That's how that's how you that's how you make connections. You make, make connections like a king's knight in chess if you know how to play chess. If you don't how to know how to play chess, let's think of let's make an L. Let's make an L shape. So two in, three over, three out, three two ends, so basically. Of any direction. Um that's what it says here. So it says fences can be placed on pegs that are king shape figure one and two. So up or down one or over two. Okay, so it's not exactly a knight move. It's basically a small knight. It's two it's two and one, so it's not three. So oh I guess it's still three. Okay, yeah, it's still it's still three. So it's two up, two two up, two left or right. Or one up, two left or right, and you make an L shape. So that's how you do it. So uh, two up or down two over one. Left to right. Once a connected fence is, is placed between pegs, players cannot build a fence that goes over or on top of it. So remember how I was building that fence earlier? So you can't put you can't put the um so let's say I have a fence here. 
fence here. And the pit and the blue place out a, a piece here and decided to drop a piece here. They are not able to put a piece on top. That's an illegal move, and it won't even let you do it anyway. So you would know you can't do it. So you can never put pieces on top of pieces. That's a very bad move. And it's cheating, and it's not accepted. And you will be disqualified and never allowed to play again. <laughs> okay, Donna? Okay, Jerry. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, okay, so... Let's see. The first person that connects their fence from one side to the other will un 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 in oh. oh okay. The first person that connects his or her fin fence from one side to the other un interrupted in links uh connected their connected uh, fences from behind both his or her borders will win the game. If neither can accomplish this, then the game will be considered a draw. So you could draw in this game. You could draw pictures and make happy faces and make, make Snoopy and stuff. No, I'm just playing. No, you can't do that. It'd be a draw like you, you go shoot your guns and you miss and it's a draw like in a duel. So you like, nobody wins. So it's like, um, it's 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 a forfeit game. No one wins. Okay. Um, strategy. It is to the advance. It is to the advance of both players for the first peg to be placed in a neutral place. A neutral point, such as somewhere near the middle of the board, like I showed you guys before. This puts your opponents immediately on the defense. If the figure to figure out which of the color borders you are building for. Immediately put the defense immediately on the defense to figure out which your opponent is building for. Okay. Pegs may be necessary pegs may be Nearly necessary to connect. Wait, it must. It might be necessary to connect. Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading here. I'm so sorry you had to deal with this. But bear with me and, and think of how strong I'm being doing this. It may be necessary to connect more than two pegs of the same color together to block your opponent. So let me show you what it's showing me on the demogram, demogram, which I was trying to do earlier, but I wasn't able to figure it out. So it takes four pieces. So let's say you have one here. You could go like this, and you could do it. I could show you lots of ways to do it. You could do it four ways if you wanted to. So you could put one here, here, here. I'm just going to show all the different ways you can go connect these things. What the heck? I'm going to show all the different ways to connect. Just to give you an idea. Can they see it, Donna? Yeah. There are, can you see the circle? Yeah. So. If you you wouldn't want to do this move in a real game because there'd be no use to doing it this, but I'm just showing all the possible moves you could do in one circle. And I think it's really cool to do this position because you get them all lined up on here. It's pretty cool. So like as you see, can you see it, Donna? Yeah. You can just stack them up all on top of each other. That's not going to let me do that. So basically, let me show you what I was talking about in the world. So you could have, oops, one here, one here, 
and another one over here. And maybe one over here. So, so if the opponent is coming through, they can't go this way because you blocked it. They can't go this way. They can't go this way, and they definitely can't go that way because you got it all blocked off. So this is a good move to make. If you can make something like this in the game, block your opponent, it gives you options to get more cover around the board, and it gives you a chance to um, block your opponent. So that's a good move to get. A five, a five, pink, a five point move. It's a really good thing to have. It's a real good move. Can I put these back in here? I'm losing pieces. These things like to roll, so be careful, everybody. When you get this, try to get yourself a box or a bag or something to put it in that's very good. These play, plastic bags are really good, but they might not be the best. So let's go to the next thing. Feel like your fences are starting... Are, do you... You feel like your fences are sharing too much of... If you feel like your fences are sharing too much of your strategy, remove some fences during your move. Or delay putting some up and have your opponent scratch their head and <laughs> scratch their head. Be careful though. Without your fences up, they can build through. Okay, so you, this is a little different from what I played with my dad because I never knew you could take your fences down. But they're saying to screw up your opponent, you can start taking pieces your your pegs away in your not the pegs, but the um, the fences, the walls. You take some of the walls down, and, and, and one reason you would do that is if you run out of pieces, you would need to use other peg, other other um, wall pieces. That's these things right here. The little fork things. Can you show this again, Donna? I can see it. You can see it. These fork things are the walls, the fences. So. Um, you can take those on and off as you please if it's your turn. But be careful because your when they are off on your opponent's turn, they can move through there and they can overcome their territory. So be careful when you take them off. Okay. Um, okay, this is the trademark stuff and um, that's done. Okay, you, you could turn off the video now, Donna. Well, 